Hello Libra, welcome to Josie K Tarot. I'm Josie K and this is the second half of April of 2021 spiritual advice reading. I'm going to dig into career and finance mostly because that's what my personal readings have been all about. So I'm going to start with the Sacred Traveler deck by Denise Lynn and I'm going to lay a circle spread. So dear Lord Spirit Guides and Angels, Please bless whichever Libra I am reading for during this general reading with clearly defined messages regarding the second half of April of 2021. Okay, well, we don't need to tell this Libra to get going because by mid-April of 2021, I feel like they have already begun. Spirit was saying take your first few steps uh, during mid-April, but I feel like Libras have jumped the gun and a lot of them have already started taking first steps regarding career and finance or things having to do with money, things of the material, and family because these things are all in connection one way or another with money, career, and finance. Now in the thoughts position of the circle spread, we have the beginning of a new cycle. First, light. So we have a Libra here who is well aware of what they are working towards, like I was talking about, and they've been taking some first steps here, or will be, by mid-April of 2021, when it comes to creating something new in their life. In the relationship sector of the circle spread, we have all is possible. So you have the ability uh, during the second half of April of 2021 Libra with this energy to trust that all is possible when it comes to what it is that you are creating that is new in your life. That all is possible as you connect with people in the relationship sector. Uh, someone's going to help you to be able to make some decisions here regarding this new cycle, this new project or idea. Now, in the creative aspects position of the circle spread, Spirit is talking about shelter, your home, your family. Uh, in the creative aspects position, Spirit saying, um, don't look outside of yourself for what you are working towards other than, you know, questions about this direction regarding others, but know that the true answers are within, okay? So basically they're saying, as you are taking steps towards something new in your life, know that all is possible, that you can connect with others for help, but that the answers are deep within you as to how you're going to manifest whatever this is about for you. Now, in the actions position of the circle spread by mid-April of 2021, there may be some obstacles here being represented by the mountains. But what is Spirit's message? Uh, during the second half of April, it's important to keep going, okay? Um, to not look at this path as long and difficult, but as an exciting new adventure. Um, to know that the answers are within you, and all is going to work out just fine. Obstacles are a part of the journey. It's what helps us to remember things, right? So if we run into something, we conquer it, and then we look back and say, wow, you know, um, it was quite a journey to getting here, and that's what makes this so much more special. So in the emotional aspects position of the circle spread, we have passion and pleasure by the end of April. We have a Libra who is savoring their life. They're looking at others around them. They're looking at, we got someone playing a violin here and a tambourine. Um, looking at uh, the decisions they've been making and how you are overcoming certain obstacles. Uh, trust that all is possible as you connect with others if others are involved in this project or idea. So subconsciously, uh, they've been saying this to the collective as well, Spirit's talking about grounding yourself. Uh, so really getting deep uh, about what this path is looking like. Wow, I'm just feeling like you are creating a path of uh, passion and pleasure here emotionally, um, but just don't get too intense, okay? Ground yourself and again, enjoy the journey push beyond the obstacles and know that there is passion and pleasure coming on the other side. All right. Once we decide where we're headed, some people are just so eager to quick jump and get there, but it's not about getting to where we want to be. It's about the journey of how we got there, right? It's the journey that is remembered. 
So in the day-to-day -day aspects position, spirit saying, follow your bliss, follow your heart as you take your first steps. The answers will be within you. You will know um, when something feels right. Now in the inner strengths position, we have the voyage of the heart. So spirit is giving this Libra the strength to allow love to flow through you as you follow your bliss into the direction of a new path, uh, a new cycle in your life. In a three card summary to my left, we've gotten the first position representing mid-April. Uh, spirit saying clear the air, simplify your life, travel lightly from here to there. Uh, travel thoughtfully and know that there's a wise, uh, there is a uh, divine plan here. Uh, that this plan was meant to be at this time in your journey. So whatever you are planning, Spirit saying you're on the right path. So by the third going into the fourth week of April, we have Spirit saying, uh, you know, again, ground yourself day to day. Give thanks to Spirit for the beautiful sanctuary in your life, all that you do have. Uh, remember to take some time to take a sea, a sea salt bath, uh, you know, get a massage and so on. Um, enjoy the journey and also take some time to know uh, that you will overcome whatever obstacles may come your way. So by the end of April of 2021, Spirit is confirming these messages by telling you that you are strong enough to find that journey and to just walk in the beauty of this world we are in. I know we're in a world where we can say, I want to create this, and here are the wonderful things I have at my fingertips to create a wonderful and blessed uh, journey in my life. Yeah, Spirit is giving this Libra the strength and the courage to take action even though you're unsure of the territory, right? Uh, this something here is very new. So let's go ahead and look a little bit deeper, shall we? To clarify these messages, I'm going to bring in the Guardian Angel, or I'm sorry, the Archangel Gabriel deck by Doreen Virtue. So dear Lord, Spirit, Guides, and Angels, please clarify these messages and or provide spiritual advice representing the second half of April of 2021. Success! So see, I feel like by mid-April, we have a Libra here who uh, was taking certain steps and now you're realizing, oh my gosh, there is success regarding this path, this direction, this idea, or this new cycle. In the thoughts position during the second half of April, we do have uh, a Libra who's thinking about this new cycle in their life, this new path, this new journey, this new idea. We have happy news here. So I, again, I'm feeling like Libras by mid-April of 2021 are celebrating the fact uh, that they are creating something that feels very successful, very exciting. Now in the relationship sector, the circle spread, we have you connecting with others uh, and spirit saying trust that as you choose this path, uh, all is possible. Uh, you may feel like others aren't working with you, uh, but it may be that you're just moving at a quicker pace. So Spirit's really asking that you just kind of take time to detox, right? To ground yourself, uh, to enjoy exploring the journey, uh, maybe even journaling this new path, uh, relieving yourself from uh, any intensity, any anxiety, because this is supposed to be a fun cycle in your life. Okay, so in the creative aspects position, Spirit is saying the answers will be within you. So with the time management card, all you have to do is place those priorities at the top of your to-do list and not allow for any difficulties to deter you from your focus uh, because happy news and success is here. So in the actions position of the circle spread, Again, when you run into obstacles, Spirit's saying with this card, keep going forward. Uh, now would be a really good time for whichever Libra I am reading for to create or join a writer's group uh, to gain inspiration, friendship, and support. 
So if you're running into obstacles, uh, for some of you, this is a time to connect with those who have been through this cycle that you're just entering, for they can give you information um, or additional ideas regarding this new cycle that you are beginning. For some, if you have been thinking about uh, starting a writer's group, a blog, uh, some form of group, uh, uh, the ability to inspire others, if this kind of falls into your arena, this is Spirit saying, you will, as you take action to focus on your priorities, eventually surpass whatever obstacles come up. And there will be great friendship and support around you. So continue to take action to ascend this mountain during the second half of April of 2021. So emotionally, we have passion and pleasure, savor your life, uh, keep going, okay? Use the energy of any disappointments along the way to fuel your creative project with your authentic emotions, you know? The answers will be within, um, so if you run into difficulty, take some time to detox. Uh, others will come in and help you um, and will inspire you to the manifestation of this new success during the second half of April. So in the subconscious position, we have helping children remaining grounded. Now, I see this card show up a lot when someone has recognized success and contentment um, and fulfillment in their life. There's a lot of happiness here, but the first uh, sin that kind of starts to show up is that energy of the ego. Uh, so it's very important to remain uh, full of grace and gratitude uh, to others, uh, to spirit, and to give, care for, provide, or help children. Uh, for some of you, uh, your success could be tied to helping children. And that process, that direction, um, is what's going to free you from uh, toxins, anxiety, or difficulties tied to the past. So uh, there's another message that Spirit's just trying to connect with you or confirm for you. So in the day-to-day -day aspects position, follow your bliss, and so too will you receive energies of gratitude. So again, helping others, um, remaining grounded, focusing on success, uh, focusing on your priorities, sharing knowledge or wisdom or learning from others. Uh, this process will attract to you um, greater blessings if you'll give thanks to the current blessings. So again, with gratitude, like I was talking about, um, as we are working on our own priorities, we need to also think of others. Uh, if we have extra money or are making a, a very blessed profit, uh, it's important to donate help, give care, or provide grateful prayers even to spirit follow your bliss now's the time to begin don't allow any fear to deter you now in your inner strengths position again you have love throws flows through you and to you as you nurture yourself so again there's a lot here in the second half of april about a libra who is uh, heading in the direction of great passion and pleasure uh, who may run into a few difficulties uh, during the second half of April, but Spirit saying use these difficulties to fuel and inspire your creative projects or ideas. Um, take some time to detox. Maybe you're working on business and we've got children here and Spirit saying just trust that all of this can be possible. You can have a family and create something successful here at the same time in the half, second half of April. So on the bottom of the deck, on the bottom of the uh, Archangel Gabriel deck, we have the motivation energy here. So Spirit saying to this Libra, pray for guidance as to how to increase your enthusiasm for and focus on this project. Because again, there may be people or situations that are deterring you, but it's all a part of the journey. The journey will eventually line up and that's when divine timing will take place. All right, so I'm gonna clarify by bringing in the Tarot of Dreams deck by Lee Burston. And I'm gonna split this in half because I have carpal tunnel in both wrists. It's just easier for me. Okay, yeah, so we do have a Libra there feeling with the Five of Cups uh, as if they don't have enough in some way. Um, crying over spilt milk is what the Five of Cups card is all about. Uh, don't mourn over what used to be 
but uh, focus now on what can be, what you can celebrate now. Yeah, because uh, some Libras have gone through a long and difficult path, but the Ten of Swords is a beautiful card because those swords are dissipating. Each of those swords represents pain, anguish, worry, fear, and so on, but now they're dissipating, and you can stand up a stronger person because of what you learned and who you are now. Now you have the knowledge and the wisdom and so on to create a path of victory and success. And I'm filming this on the 13th of April, so it may be that by the 15th or 16th, some form of happy news is coming if it hasn't shown up already that you're gonna be thinking about. All right, so uh, this is a tarot deck, the Tarot of Dreams deck, and I like to use a tarot deck to pinpoint maybe the signs, synchronicities, and or elements by which spirit is trying to help for me to translate for whichever Libra this is to Lord Spirit Guides and Angels. Okay, holy mackerel. So we got the Nine of Cups right off the bat. Wishes coming true, success, congratulations. Uh, take your first step. Some of you already did. Some of you are realizing that you are creating something very successful and that your wishes are coming true. All right, that's beautiful energy. Now in the thoughts position, we have the Six of Cups energies. Now this could have to do with children. I feel like we have someone thinking about a man and some children here, um, and you're thinking about uh, happy news, the beginning of something new in your life uh, that may involve children. Uh, for some, maybe you're thinking about your past, your childhood, um, and I think there's just a reflection here in the thoughts position of how far you've come. Or again, there is a situation that involves children or family. Um, but it's all happy news. There's like success, children, happy news, begin now, a new cycle is taking place. Boom. So in the, cre in the relationship sector, the circle spread, spirit is offering up the major arcana, the star. Okay, so now this could represent someone who has Aquarius in their chart and or uh, this is a wish coming true because you are trusting that all is possible and you are detoxing from maybe a situation that involved an Aquarius and or because a wish is coming true. Um, so we've got a star wish coming true in the relationship sector, wish coming true regarding a new beginning, a new cycle, uh, regarding maybe even uh, children or family. Okay, so in the creative aspects position of the circle spread, boom, we have a brand new path in the area of love. Uh, I know this is a career and finance reading, but I am seeing that someone here, uh, their wishes are coming true. Uh, they are stepping into a path of success. Um, I'm feeling like this could be a marriage commitment partnership is going deeper. There's a rebirth here. Um, but again, spirit saying, get back to business. You know, the answers are within you. Focus on your priorities and don't be deterred. Uh, some form of wishes are coming true. So how can you not be deterred? Uh, the wish is, is that a new path, be it personally or professionally, if we're looking at professionally, a new path is opening up, that's going to be very fulfilling. So follow your bliss, do what you like to do, and you will attract more blessings as you give gratitude to those who help you or to spirit in general. So in the actions position, boom, we have the Palace of Wands, beautiful. So this is building a life of contentment, stability, uh, because of a writer's group, uh, or uh, because of inspiration, friendships, and support that others are offering to you, or that you're offering to others because of some form of obstacle. Spirit saying, keep moving forward. And for some, this is uh, if you are connecting with a fire sign, Sag, Aries, or Leo. There may have been obstacles, but now you're thinking of children or family. Wishes are coming true, I feel, financially, or even in a relationship sector with another or others. New, a new home, a new life, new things are evolving. And Spirit's saying, keep going. There's going to be energies of passion and pleasure and, whoops, an offer of money. Okay, so whatever you are working on or towards, if you are hoping for someone to help uh, this new beginning get jump started, uh, a new partnership, relationship, something here, um, an offer of money is coming to help you with this new beginning. 
in the second half of April if it hasn't by mid-April. Wow. So in the subconscious position, we have the Ten of Coins, a light at the end of the tunnel when it comes to uh, family, money, uh, things of tradition. And uh, Spirit saying, part of your purpose involves teaching, guiding, or helping young people. So ground yourself as you see the light at the end of the tunnel, as you see the wishes coming true, as you see the success of all that's developing right now. Um, yeah, if it's about writing, you know, now's the time to communicate with others, um, to write something where you can take what you've learned that was difficult. And if you are publishing a book and you've already sent it in and you've got your ISBN number and all that fun stuff, uh, there could very well be people that are purchasing that book by the end of April of 2021. Okay, a couple different energies there. So in the day-to-day -day aspects position, it's all about leaving troubled waters behind, right? Giving gratitude to the blessings in your life as you follow your bliss into the path of a new beginning, setting your priorities at the top of your list, uh, knowing that the answers are going to come within you. Things are going to feel right, and this whole process is helping you to leave troubled waters behind. Again, for some, maybe having to do with someone who has Aquarius in their chart. Now, in your inner strengths position, Spirit is giving you the strength uh, to open your heart like the King of Cups. You know, the King of Cups was playful and immature at one point in his life, and now he has grown into a very caring, loving, giving, supportive father energy, grandfather energy. Uh, so Spirit's giving you the strength to let love flow through you um, in connection to this person who's very open-hearted and kind. Now, they don't have to be a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. Like I said, we've got fire here, Sagittarius, or Leo. Either way, we've got nurture yourself and um, let love flow through you and to you, okay, in connection to others. For wishes are going to come true, uh, whereby you're creating a beautiful foundation here um, for your family and when it comes to uh, stability, money. An offer of money is coming and spirit saying keep going because passion and pleasure are the energies you'll receive as a result by the end of april it's about motivation it's about stepping into the spotlight freeing yourself from old energies of heartache uh, stepping into a position of great financial independence looking at a new path where there is an offer of sorts wanting to go very quickly into that direction um, but maybe having to wait or being held back because someone here is not freeing themselves from old frustrations. So the I feel like the only obstacles here in what's being manifested by this Libra are th things tied to the past. So if there's something you need to heal and release, now's the time to do it. To replace all of that negativity with an open heart and ha with this happiness and success. Let this happiness and success clear your energy and start brand new is a big message so i'm going to close with a message from the daily guidance from your angels deck by doreen virtue so dear lord spirit guides and angels please uh, close this message by bringing in a closing message regarding uh, the energy surrounding this libra during the second half of april of 2021 boom i was gonna say did i say a big deal okay this makes a lot of sense we've got success taking steps wishes coming true a new cycle beginning family children happy news a wish coming true detoxifying in the relationship sector no longer crying over spilt milk having the strength to open your heart to nurture not only yourself but to give love to uh, children to ground yourself recognizing my goodness this is the light at the end of the tunnel i can create something traditional and a solid foundation in my life I can connect with others and or share my knowledge, skills, and wisdom with others. I know that someone's going to help me and that there's going to be uh, happy news regarding that. So it could be family helping, um, uh, you know, with these plans. And um, yeah, financially, you're not really worried uh, during the second half of April. So with the wedding card, Libra, we have marriage is the union of two souls joined in love, mutual respect, and commitment. It signifies a desire to deepen love over time. Your wedding day is a testament of your well-founded faith 
in love's power. Continually breathe life into that faith and love, dearest one. So Spirit's saying ground yourself as you change in this new direction. Uh, reward yourself along the way. Trust in the guidance uh, that you are receiving. Um, now is the time to open up your heart chakra and to forgive those around you, to let your past go and to give thanks to the blessings that have resulted in your life uh, as a disguise. Once you forgive others, a shower of abundance will shine down or fall into the palm of your hands. Um, it's about getting back in touch with the innocence of family and children and friends. Uh, divine timing is on its way, and whatever this marriage, commitment, partnership is about, it's a beautiful thing. Wow. I didn't expect that in a career in finance reading, but money looks great. I think someone's investing their money here to make their own traditional wishes come true. Uh, this could be starting a family business that would be very successful at this time. Many starting of businesses or getting a new job, now is the time to really put the effort in because these beautiful energies uh, won't last forever, you know. So should these messages have resonated for you, um, feel free to write me um, to learn more about your own personal journey. Uh, just write me at my email, which is josiek42 at gmail.com. I offer four one-half-hour video readings, and they are a one-month, three-month, six-month, and yearly reading, and my price list will be in the box below this video. I am still offering the Spring Special, which is a 15-minute video reading for just $25 if you'd like to give it a try. So thank you so much for stopping by to those of you who have liked, shared, and subscribed. Thank you to those of you who come to me for month-to-month -month personal readings and to those who follow up those readings uh, with uh, clarification as to how these translated messages help to guide you into a path of greater peace, joy, and happiness. Take care and God bless.